So my mama always said, never take anything for granted. And I always thought of it as things come and things go, right? So this never came into mind till one particular day, and this day was my 50th birthday. And this day was special to me because my, this was the day my mom said, you know what, Zuleika, you have more freedom. You, if you want to go out with your friends for this birthday, you can go out with your friends. Because every single birthday, I spend it with my family. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, sometimes, like, I want to do other things, right? So she said, you know what, Zuleika, you can stay out late, you can go out with your friends, you can do whatever you like. So I was super excited. I was like, you know what? Yes, I'm going out with my friends, especially because my parents are super overprotective, right? So I call my friends and I'm like, you know what? Let's go out. It's my birthday. Like, we're going to have fun. So we go out, right? I call them and they all come over, right? And as they're coming over, I tell my mom, you know what, mom? We're going to go. We're going to go out. I'm going to have fun. And she says, she starts giving me the speech and she's like, you know what, Zuleika? Be careful. Call me when you get there. Don't talk to strangers. And I'm like, oh my God, mom, okay, relax. It's my 15th birthday, so I can go out. She's like, I know, I know, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm like, can I go now? She's like, you know what, go have fun. So I get there, right? We, we decided to go to the ice skating ring. So I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be fun. We get there, it's fun. We start ice skating, there's an arcade, we go eating, and we're having a blast. Midday comes, right? And my mom starts blowing on my phone. Did you get there? Are you having fun? I'm like, mom, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, okay, like, I'm fine. And I'm, I text her, I'm like, yes, I'm fine. I'll be home later. And she's like, okay, make sure you eat, make sure I'm like, okay, mom, right? So I'm like, this is never gonna stop. So then um, she starts calling me again, two hours later, again and again, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna turn on my phone, I'll call her when I get there, right? So I turn on my phone and I continue to have a blast with my friends. We go, we still go ice skating. We have a blast, and I it's getting dark and I'm like, you know what? I should start heading home. Like it's getting dark. Maybe I should start spending a little more time with my family. So I gather my friends and I tell them, hey, like I think I'm gonna go back. And she and they're like, oh, just stay a little bit longer. I'm like, no, like maybe I could just have like a little cake with them. Like nothing big, right? And she's like, oh, okay, fine. So we start heading back, and they decided to stop by Starbucks, and they decided to stop by get something else to eat. And I'm like, come on, guys, like, you know? And I still didn't turn on my phone because if I knew that I told, like, I saw all the messages, I'd be like, oh, my mom again, right? So I'm like, okay, so we're one block away from my house, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna say my phone died. Like, she doesn't know I'm like, my phone died. So I'm like, okay, so we're about to hit my house and I decided to turn on my phone and I see my phone turn on and a whole bunch of me uh, messages come in, a whole bunch of calls and in total it ended up being a hundred missed calls from my mom and 300 messages. Kid you not and I was like whoa what's going on? So as I'm pulling over I see a whole bunch of ambulances in front of my house and I thought well, this is more than her being, where are you? This is something bigger. So they draw me up on my house, and I see a whole bunch of people in my house all over the place, and I thought, this is not normal. So I walk in, and I see people everywhere, family members, everybody, and I'm like, well, like, where have you been? Like, you know? I'm like, I know you're not here for my birthday. Like, what's going on, right? So then I hear my mom crying, and I thought, okay, like, mom, I'm home. Like, what happened, you know? But she couldn't even talk to me, so the best thing I thought was, you know what, I'm going to gather my siblings and I'm going to figure out what's going on. So then I gathered all of them up and I found my two brothers, but I can't find my sister. And so I'm looking for her, looking for her. I mean, she's only two, like she hides everywhere, right? So I'm like, I can't find her. And then in that moment, I felt somebody touch me like on my shoulder and I turn around and... It was my aunt, and she looks at me, and she hugs me, and she says, you know what, Zuleika, like, I'm sorry for your loss. And I thought, whoa, 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 wait, what's going on? And I couldn't even think of anything but those words that my mom said, never take anything for granted. And she said, you know what, your sister, she was young, but she loved you. And I thought, no way, like, there's no way. And I started thinking so many things in my head. I was like, what if I would have answered the phone? What if I would have stayed home, like, you know? And those words came into my head and I felt, I felt like crap. And I thought this was supposed to be the best day of my life. It was going as the best day of my life. And it just suddenly turned into the worst. And things are just unexpected and just never take anything for granted.